welcome back to Final Fantasy IX. Uh, I'm on my own for this one, and um, yeah, we're going to just sort of uh, pick up where we left off and try and find. Um, well, that's cool. We found a missile vest. We're trying to find the uh, the uh, Guardian Force. Not they're not called Guardian Forces, are they? There he is, Rama. Hello. How are you doing? Well, with Joseph's help, the troop defeated the troop, defeated the Adamantoids in the Snowfield Cavern, and acquired the Goddess Bell they needed to enter the Empire's castle. That's cooperation. You have four to go. And what's in there then? The ogre! Awesome. And we've got a wild enemy battle. I say wild because I'm a Pokemon. Pokemaniac at heart! But, of course, we are, um, we want to get this, uh, we want to get this, um, Ardolan. That's what they're called, they're Ardolan. They're Ardolan. Um, we need to get this eye on because we don't have any at the moment. And of course, as you know, some of the Final Fantasy are very much useful. So we'll literally, we literally just have to um, just beat them, beat them the moment. I'm assuming fire is going to work on the sand scorpion. I mean, if you heat up sand, it turns to glass. So. Maybe that's a uh, maybe that's a thing that isn't actually a thing, but I'd like to think it is. Therefore, it is. Oh shit! The bed they've got second level fire. This is good. Well, you can kill something. My controller's gone off. It sucks, doesn't it? Oh, come on, kill. Auto potion is very useful on Dizzy, I think. I do think he might he may turn out to be my most powerful. You know, don't underestimate the tiny little geezer, he's gonna he's still gonna knock your block off. So hopefully if I just continue to uh, Continue to lay these clowns down, so I'm sure uh, things will go well overall. We're down to one anyway. That's always good. The quicker we knock them down, of course, the better. Oh crap, we're in trance with Dagger. I'm thinking, uh, yeah. I'm thinking Trance with Dagger is going to be a hot, um, an absolute shitload of guns, so <laughs> I should have a new Super Cure and uh, Lob Blizzara and that final one, smack it with the damn dagger and yeah. yeah I'm thinking Dagger's going to be a, a shitload of good in um, Trance without an Adam, so... It's kind of funny that we are trying to get her first Eidolon. Well, there goes Dagger's Trance. I'm sure we'll actually see um, how useful her Trance can be somewhere later down the line. But at the moment, it's a um, shitload of good, as I said. So, yeah, for the time being, for the time being, Dagger's really just a waste of a party space. But I'm sure she'll prove to earn her worth. At least I fucking hope so. <laughs> She's too central to not be any good. And these battles are too frequent. It's like a maze here. Hopefully I can... Hopefully I can get through this area in one episode and not have to waste multiple episodes doing this. Because obviously I know I know you guys want to see me uh, progress further with the storyline. And if um, if I'm constant, you know what? I'm, I am actually just going to stop. How do I do 
Kuma. I'm just gonna run like I'm just gonna run like the wind, I think. Let's see if we can get some. Oh, we got we got away! Awesome. I mean, once you've seen me fight the enemy once, you don't you don't really want to see me do it over and over and over and over and over and over and over. And over, and over, and over. You get the point. Um. Oh, hello. Hey, Rama. There's four left of me. Oh, yeah. What? So he's in, he's telling me I've got to give up. Oh. Maybe that's the. I don't know. This is weird. Maybe I have got to give up, and then he, he said, and then he says something along the lines of surrendering is necessary in some battles or some sort of um, wizard, wizard sage bullshit. I don't know, but well, well, maybe we will have to give up on give up and say we give up. And perhaps um, they will say something, uh, they will say something profound or uh, something uh, logical, you know. At least that's what I'm hoping. And I'm hoping if I give up, he says, Fine, fuck off then. Because that wouldn't be very good either. I mean, obviously, we'll only know when we do it. So, give it a go. Black magic. Black magic. Fire, I think. It's not worth a try, right? I want to check out Vivi's learning sense anyway, because I think I've, I've got the fire stat and I can teach him the second level fire, but I think he needs to completely master, I think it's second level ice, or second level ice, I'm not entirely sure, it's been a while since I've recorded this. Let's double check by um, hip hop, hip hop dashing our way into the menu screen. And of course, we can check our ability, isn't it? Um, it's not, it's equipped. It's a um, he's holding the lightning star. And he has mastered Thundara. So we can switch that up to the flame staff. Now he will start to learn sleep and fire. Um, feather hat, steeple hat, gives him a boost in strength, the spirit will drop, and his magic defense goes up, or the magus hat drops it, yeah, I think the magus hat actually, he's got the magus hat on, do he? Um, the glass armlet, leather wrist, that increases his spirit, that does nothing. Uh, the bone wrist increases his strength, well we're not worried about his strength, but his evasion and his magic evasion. So yeah, I think we've got to stick his own vest on him. Uh, he's wearing the mithril vest anyway, but is there anything better? We've got a couple of different ones. Leather vest will drop his defense by half. Still dropping. Um, still dropping. That's the same. Is, that, is it? The adamantium vest would up him to 14 strength and a 12 on the magic defense. So yeah, I think we do want to do that. Um, magician shoes. Well, it's that or it's desert boots. Spirit and evasion with a slight drop to magic. But well, I'd rather, I honestly, I'd rather jump off a cliff than drop his magic power. So he can wear his, he can wear his magician shoes, and he can, and BB can go to the ball. Um, I could just choke. Um, the ogre is the strongest thing we've got for Sedan. The steeple hat. Oh, hang on. Feather hat would increase his spirit, but drop his strength again. I'd rather again. I would rather jump off a cliff than drop Zidane's strength because at the moment, without um, without Steiner, I hit like a lorry being driven at 100 mile an hour into a child. Um, I think we do need Zidane in his strength. God, that was dark. Bone wrist is learning add status, so that's good. Auto potion, again, I want him to learn that. Yellow scarf, he can't learn millionaire. Well, he's never going to be a millionaire. The guy's a thief, so... 
I could drop his strength and increase his magic and spirit, but again, Zidane, Zidane does magic about as often as I exercise, so um, yeah, we can keep that. Um, and as for Dagger, who is shit, um, she can wear the. Oh, she could actually wear the desert boots. Would increase her magic and her spirit and her evasion. Yeah. So I think that's a good one to go with there. Uh, the mithril vest would drop her spirit, but increase her defense. So yeah, I'm gonna do that. And she'd learn auto potion. So that to me sounds like that to me sounds like a winner winner chicken dinner. Oh god, chicken dinner. Don't talk about food. I want one. Um, bone wrist would increase a lot of things. So, yeah, she's doing that. Um, feather hat. If I switch to the steeple hat, it drops her spirit. Gives her a slight magic defense and an up in strength. Again, her strength is useful, useless, but yeah, I think we've got to do that. Um, and she's currently using the Stardust Rod. Now, what is the Stardust Rod teaching, teaching her ability up? Which I need to put on. Says the voice in the back of my head from somebody who's not actually on this episode because um, I didn't know they were going to wake up in the middle of it. So let's do some ability setting now. So much for getting so much for um, so oh, she's got ability up on. Um, so much for uh, oh, what the fuck? yes, sir. Um, Bibi's already got water. Uh, what about this one? Um, bird killer, devil killer, steel gill, add stats you could add, or flea gill. Or auto potion. Yeah, boy, you're having auto potion. So now everybody's going to waste half a turn by using auto potion. So, let's go and surrender. Oh, whoa, 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 wait, wait. Um, I can't get back up here once I jump off, but I can jump off to get that treasure chest. Decisions, decisions, decisions. Fuck it. Ah! Mithril armlet? Yes, sir! Now, garnet is wet. Very, very wet. Um. Ooh, hello. Um. Where's armlet? That would increase his spirit, drop his strength. Is evasion magic evasion? Hmm. As opposed to what you've got, that stays to share. Maybe after the bonus, I think it's good. Um, anyway, so we just jumped off a cliff. Don't know whether that was a good idea, but we did it. So. Oh, I see. So now we've got to back. Now we've got to backtrack and fight at least two battles in order to get back there. Okay, we'll backtrack. Back tracking across the universe. If I keep singing this in tune, I'm gonna get a copyright strike. Back tracking to give up to an old man. Please, please, old man, take me, take me, please. Hello. That's a good idea. That good idea? That's too bad. First, your choice. Let me see again. Oh, so I can do it again anyway, can I? Oh well, it's all over. Game over. Anyway. Well, I don't know what to do. Because there wasn't any other room anyway. Look, it's Limbloom Castle. The old man's gone. So we're getting somewhere. I have surrendered a summon, but whatever. Um, Jump off now. Uh, what difference does this make? Fuck it. Now! Ah! Let's go! Zidane, was it a good idea to jump off a cliff running away from that old man? No, not really. But you made that decision. Too bad I couldn't get Rama to join us. Oh, fuck, really? Okay. But I want to learn how to use summon magic someday. I know you can do it, Dagger, while I'll be doing you. Zidane, that was highly inappropriate. Look. Is that the red rose? Will you stop looking up that up Dagger's dress? 
Why that is the red red? Holy mother of God! Okay, I'm gonna shut the fuck up for a bit. She looks like a villain. The others are still alive. Shit. Lights must be telepods. They're sending black mages directly inside the castle. In Clara, they use summon magic afterwards. No! Mother! How could you be evil? <laughs> Even though you're listed in the guidebook as the major villain of the game! How did I miss this? <laughs> All my life you've been a villain! How? <laughs> Dagger, don't run in there! We just rescued you! Twice. Fuck. <laughs> Here we go! Here goes Lion Tail. Looks like a girl. Ghostbusters vacuum! No! Hang on. Top down view of Princess Garnet. I approve. I do not approve of that! Child. Whatever. Let's just get this done. It's so quiet. There's a hole in the roof. Mother, I can't believe you attacked Lindblom. I mean, I know you're listed as a major villain in this video game, but what? What are you doing? Hang on a minute. Dagger, your mother's evil. We've known this for some time. I pointed this out the first time I saw her. Oh, and in, in additional news, bears do indeed shit in woods. Bears do indeed shit in woods. Careful! Careful, they may still be around. I'm going to do girl for a good day. Vivi, you stay here and hard. No way! It's dangerous here, and I'm the only one who's got magic! There are Alexandrian soldiers everywhere. You should stay out of their sight. Zidane, for fuck's sake, that kid's stronger than you are. Let him come along. Okay, okay. I'll hide. Then I'll, like, rest save your ass from the shadows and stuff. Don't fret, we'll be right back. I'm sorry, Vivi. We're treating you like a child because you're short. This is the one thing, this is the one problem that, that legal dwarf people who are legally dwarves have been having for decades. But you have to have this problem because you're short. I'm sorry. By the way, I'm a girl. I know exactly what you feel, what you're feeling. In We've only had the vote 20 odd years. I'm sorry. It's okay, just make it quick. Hey, 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 hey! Innuendo! Woo! Still runs like a pussy. So we're 
here, and here is where we shall stop. In the next episode of Final Fantasy IX, I, well, we, the game shall be continued in the burned out husk of Lindblom. So thank you guys for watching, make sure you check back next time, because if you don't, well, I'll eat your brains. Anyway, see you guys next time, and goodbye.